Hey what's up guys, Rev here. So I assume many of you shared the same experience last night, caught completely off guard by a major announcement. As for me, I was just mindlessly scrolling through Twitter looking at my optimized timeline filled almost entirely with cute anime girls, and then BAM, big news slipped onto my feed. Across their various social media platforms, Hollow Live announced that its sixth generation called the Secret Society Hollow X, and its five new members are set for their debut. Now ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Live has a long history of doing these quick little pump and dump debuts, where they announce a new generation of talent the night before their debut. And personally, I really enjoy it. I think in a world where there's thousands of things being hyped up at the same time, most people can't maintain their excitement for something for too long. A sort of anti-hype for a generation of ADD ridden people who have way too many shiny keys being dangled in front of their face at once. But anyways, back to the big announcement. This is now the 6th generation of Hollow Live VTubers, the 8th overall including the 2 generation of English members. This time, we have the Secret Society Hollow X, a mysterious organization that emanates a slightly darker ambiance than ever before. Of course, the name and the lore sounding a bit similar to the latest English generation, the Hollow Council. And as always with these types of announcements, Hollow Live provide an introduction to each of the 5 new members, and I have to say after taking a look, I'm pretty excited about it. Now before we get into it, I guarantee I'm pronouncing these names wrong, and I looked around for the correct pronunciations for this video, and I found no answers. So bear with this Baka Gaijin, please. So first off, we have the founder of this generation, La Plus Darkness, and instantly social media was abuzz over this lolly demon, and I'll just be honest, this one is my personal favorite of the group, at least in terms of designs. Dark themes plus cute, easy favorite for me. So let's quickly read her lore together. She was originally known for her vast power and intelligence, but most of it is now sealed away. She is vaguely aware of the debilitating nature of her shackles, but does not remember when or how they got there. The crow by her side is a longtime companion. Super cute, and there's already a lot of art of her, and it seems she's already been chosen by a certain sect of the artist population, if you know what I mean, so take that info if you so desire. Second, we have the executive officer, Takane Lui, as Hollow X's point of contact and the one in charge of external affairs, she is the de facto leader of the group, handling matters that the founder cannot. While she may seem aloof and standoffish at first glance, she is also a compassionate person who cares a lot about her subordinates. Unfortunately, she is also rather prone to screwing up in crucial situations. So it looks like she's the clumsy tomboy type character of the group, possible tsundere, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Third, we have Hakui Koyori. She is in charge of the research and development of the group. As part of her studies into human behavior, she meddles in the other members' affairs and tries to help them at every turn. Possessed by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, she may sometimes also deliberately mess with people just to see how they react. The self-proclaimed brains of the operation, her areas of expertise, however, are pretty limited. So we have a second corporate pink cat girl on the VTuber scene. I wonder if that'll lead to anything. But anyways, super cute design, pretty simple. And that's all I have to say about that for now. And unfortunately for her, she was the unlucky one and received the temporary lock on her Twitter. Every round of new Howl Live members gets at least one of these cases, and she was the one taking the bullet for this group. And in case you're confused, you sometimes get locked when you gain too many followers in a short period of time. The Twitter bots think there must be a bot situation at play or something like that. When you gain hundreds of thousands of followers in mere hours like these girls do, I'm not surprised that it happens. Fourth, we have Sakamata Chloe, an intern who acts as a fixer and cleaner for Secret Society Hollow X. Calm and composed at all times, she carries out her orders without so much as batting an eyelid. She loves music and can be found listening to it every chance she gets. And while she denies it vehemently, she apparently tends to come across as guarded and not very upfront with her thoughts, only letting people get very occasional glimpses into how she really feels. So she's like the goth janitor of the group, and yeah, I'm all for it. And I have to say, this is my second favorite design only behind La Plus. The eyes alone are really cool, but the outfit is some sort of like badass little red riding hood type look. Honestly, her character reminds me a bit of Raven from Teen Titans. The eyes, the hood, the guarded personality, few peeks into her real feelings, and if you know me, and my obsession with Raven, you know that's a huge plus. Last but not least, we have the final member of this group, Kazuma Aroha. 
the bodyguard and insurance policy of Society Hollow X. Hailing from a remote mountainous area, she left her home behind and, along with her companion, set off on a journey to achieve her dream of seeing and learning more about the outside world. Nowadays, she handles security detail and bodyguard missions for Hollow X, making enough money to get by. Now, I'm not exactly sure what it means to be their insurance policy, but it sounds pretty interesting. Her design also reminds me of Okita Soji from the Fate series, and as other people have pointed out, she also looks like several characters from Genshin Impact, which, given the popularity of those games, I'm not surprised to see a design like this. But ladies and gentlemen, that completes the rundown of each character and their introductions. Now the premieres of each character are posted on their Twitter accounts, but I'll go through them quickly with you. And as you can see, the specific times are based on Japan's time zone, so adjust accordingly. As of the time I'm making this video, La Plus had already made her debut, Kagage is set for the 27th, Koyori for the 28th, Chloe for the 29th, and last but not least, Kazuma is set for the 30th. So on a side note, like I said, we've only had one official debut, and the official announcement for the group was only made last night, but there's already loads and loads of art based on these characters, and this art is everything from innocent to not safe for work, but it's all terrific. And like I hinted at earlier in the video, it appears that La Plus is the favorite so far, already dozens of art out there for her, and I 100% approve. But to conclude this video, I'll share my own thoughts. Honestly, I'm very excited. I think this looks like the perfect mix of characters and personalities. It also seems like they're continuing the lore that exists in the company, which is honestly pretty cool, and enjoyed by the majority of the fans. And coming off of the Hololive English second generation, one reason I was, wasn't super overly hyped about it was that the models didn't have that classic Hololive appearance. Not that they're bad, but they really stand out when they're collabing with other members of their own group and the other generations of Hololive. And related to that, coming off of the recent debut of the second generation of Hololive English, things for that weren't as hyped as normal, and honestly, over the past few months since their debut, I really haven't heard a whole lot. Not to say that they're irrelevant or anything, they're obviously doing quite well, but not quite the splash that we're used to, especially with the first generation of Hololive English. So, Hopefully, now in their sixth generation of the original Japanese groups, I wonder if they can still spark that same amount of hype that we're used to with those members. But honestly, based on the members, their characters, their designs, and the reaction on social media, it honestly feels like how things normally are with how live debuts. So I think this one has a very good chance of succeeding, just like really any member of the how live generations. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and like I said, you can find all of their links down in the bio below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.